Welcome back to the channel. I want to start today's video off by saying a massive thank you to everybody that dropped in a comment on Sunday's video, liked it, the new subscribers off the back of Sunday's video. I'll put a link up there before I carry on if you haven't seen it already. Because it was um, just a raw day of me filling up that barn renovation. That's four months in the planning, four months in the build. And yes, I pressure tested it, but it was the first day the hot and colds went on, uh, water went on to the whole building. And yes, we had some issues with it. Yes, we had a couple of leaks, all rectified, all sorted, not a problem. There weren't massive leaks, but they were just like little nuts that hadn't been tightened up. And there was an issue with the toilet, the flush pipe going in the back of the toilet. But people have messaged me, you know, dropped into my DMs on, on Instagram saying, this is what we like about your channel. We like the fact that you show everything, whether it's good, bad, mistakes happening and that's what i want to do with this channel really is just real world plumbing it happens to all of us if you ever hear a plumber say he never gets leaks then as i've said he's a liar everybody gets leaks it's how you deal with those leaks so it was just a quick thank you and i really appreciate everybody who comments if, and gets involved with the channel basically so let's get on with today's video Right, so I've had a few messages over the last few months about doing like a how-to series, how to fit a basin, how to fit a toilet, how to fit a shower screen, things like that. I know there's plenty of them out on YouTube, here, there and everywhere if you want to find them, but as you are asking for them, I thought I'd better do one. So today, I'm going to sort of test the water a little bit, so just comment below, let me know, A, what you want to see as a how-to, B, if it's something you think I should carry on doing, there'll only be... 10, 12 minute videos, but this is gonna be the first one just to try it out, see how it goes. And what I might do is start putting them in on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Thursday, you know, between the main Wednesday and Sunday videos. So, as I said, just drop me a comment, let me know what you think to it. So today is gonna to be a how-to on shower screens. I've got the screen to go up here. It's gonna go on this wall. It's just a little small screen to go across this bath. Just gonna to go to about there, just a flip, normal flip screen. We've got it here, nice and straightforward, profile on the wall and fix the screen. So what I always do is give the bath a good wipe down. I've got some big wipes there. So what I do is give the lip of the bath a nice good wipe down, let it dry completely. And then we'll get the profile up on the wall here. It's usually about 10 mil from the actual lip of the bath inward. So we'll measure 10 mil, mark the bath, level the profile up through there. And then what I always do is just put a little bead of silicon across there. The rest of it will be siliconed in at some point, but we're just doing the screen for now. Drill the profile up and we'll get that fixed. So just get your profile. We've got the 10 mil mark on the bath. Offer that into position like so. Grab your level. And I've got clean shoes, so we're okay. And just offer it up there onto your 10 mil mark at the bottom and then level this profile through like so. Mark the three points. Okay. Mark the three points there and uh, we can get this drilled out now. So we've worked off our 10 mil mark there. We've got a drill point there, drill point there and a drill point there. So what I'll do now is I'll grab my, I've featured these a lot. I'll put a link in the description to these. These drill bits, they come in a pack of 10, they're six pound off eBay, and they are perfect. They drill most things, and even at six quid for 10, you know, if they drill three or four holes, you can chuck them away. But this, I think this one's drilled 10, 15 holes. They're perfect, as long as you keep them wet. But as I said, I'll pop a link in the description below, because these, whenever I mention these, they fly out the door. It says buying one drill bit for 14, 15 quid that doesn't last half as long anyway. So we'll get these three holes drilled, Get some plugs in it, get that siliconed up, and get the profile on. So always keep the tip of your tire bit wet. I always just empty a little, little screw tub out there, pop some water in that. So always keep the tip of it wet when we're drilling through. There we go. That's the first one done. We've got the other two drilled out now. So we've got our plugs now in the holes, 
that we've drilled and as I said what I'm going to do is put a small bead of silicon just across there enough to cover the bottom of the profile So I'll just put it like that and then when the profile goes on we know that that bit there is sealed in. What I do with the profiles, some people do this, some people don't, I've always personally done it, is put a bead of silicon, just a very small bead along the whole length of it, so when it's pushed back up to the wall it's got that silicon barrier down the back. Just put a really small bead all the way along, right to the bottom and then just all the way along. One continuous bead. It just keeps it sealed against the wall. And it's not a problem. If ever the, if ever the profile's got to come off, it's not hard to just cut through that small little bead of silicon. So we'll get this offered up into place and get them three screws in and get it screwed back to the wall, making sure it's level the whole time. So, just pop your level on, make sure it's all level. That's the profile now, in place, screwed back, silicon behind it, and as you can see, some of it just squashes out the side, but we've wiped it all down, because when the rest of the bathroom is siliconed up, they'll put a little bead of grey silicon up there. So now, we've got the main screen to go in, so what we do with this, we lift this into position, two points just to fix the actual screen into the profile, so we'll push it in, Drill it with a tiny little 3mm pilot bit and then get these two screws in and then get the caps on and then also you've got the plastic trim that goes along the bottom. We've got the glass screen here, we'll lift this up and it just slides into the profile. Like so. And what it will do, we'll just lean that front edge onto the bath. So as you can see, it slides into that profile there, like so. So that's the actual screw pushed into the profile. What we'll do, we'll get into the bath now, screw them two screws into the frame and into the profile, and then we'll get that fixed into position. So we'll push the profile into there and you'll just see that tiny little hole there. We'll drill a pilot through there, get the first screw tapped in, screwed in, chrome cap on, that'll hold the screen in place. Then we can do the same at the bottom just to actually fix the screen into the profile. So that's a little tiny pilot hole in through the bottom of the profile, in through the um, screen. Then just screw the stainless steel screw and cap into place like so. And then it has a small chrome cap. Just grab it, that pops on. Like so, just to finish it off. Same for the top. And then we'll get this bottom strip on here. Now with these shower screen doors, they will bend outwards, or most of them bend outwards. It just makes putting this strip on a hell of a lot easier. So we'll push this into position on the bottom and uh, offer it into place. That's that rubber strip now put on the bottom of the screen. And then as you push it into the shower, a lot of people have the showers pushed in like that when they're not in use. And then when you push it into position, just make sure this rubber strip along the bottom just folds back out ever so slightly like that and it just causes a nice seal sometimes i have had it where a bath has run out slightly maybe the curvature in the bath you can get deeper strips so sometimes you may have to put a deeper strip on but nine times out of ten the ones that are supplied with it as long as it's fitted correctly put in at the right measurements they're all well and good so that's a short little video on how to fit one of these over the bath shower screens. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment below, let me know what are the how-tos you want me to show you, whether it be how to fix a basin, how to fix a toilet, how to fit a bath. I can start doing these shorter videos in trim between my main Wednesday and Sunday videos. And I'll catch you soon.